Here's how to fix Roblox stuck on loading a screen in only 3 steps. So let's get started. Uh, before doing any step or solution, all you have to do is just go ahead and right click on Tax Bar, click on Tax Manager, click on um, Processes, and all you have to do is just go ahead and look to find Roblox or Roblox Player uh, from here. Right click on it and then click on End Task. So just go ahead and close Roblox uh, Processes. Then guys, all you have to do is just go ahead and right click on Roblox Player shortcut. Click on open file location. Right click on Roblox Player beta and then go down and click on properties. Click on compatibility. Then go down and check this option. Disable full screen optimizations. And also check this option. Run this program as an administrator. Then go down and click on apply and then OK. Then guys to do the second step uh, just go ahead and right click on start menu click on run uh, just go ahead and type app data then click on ok click on local folder uh, select one of these file folder from here and then press t to find temp folder click on temp folder select one of these folders again now press r to find roblox folder and then right click on roblox folder and then go down and click on delete so just go ahead and delete roblox uh crashes then guys uh to do the next step all you have to do is just go ahead and open control panel then click on network and internet click on network and sharing center double click on your wi-fi go down and click on properties click on internet protocol version 4 check this option and then all you have to do is just go ahead and use dns server I recommend to just go ahead and use Google DNS, enter 8.8.8.8 for primary and 8.4.4.8 for secondary. And also you can use other DNS servers. There is one more thing to do to fix this issue. To do the last step, just go ahead and now uh, type CMD or common prompt on right over here. Right click on it and then click on run as at Neister. Then go just go ahead and check the video description. I'll put these comments in description. Go ahead and copy the first comment. Go back to the CMD. Paste it. Press enter. Then copy the next comment. Alright. Paste it. And then just go ahead and type exit. Press enter again. And now just go ahead and click on start menu. Click on power. And then click on restart. Uh, if you do all of these steps, in most of the times, uh, this issue will be fixed. Anyway, thanks for watching video. Please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace out.